what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what? You know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. All right, man. Let's listen to Terrence Crawford show the love to Errol Spence for all the Errol sexuals who say, you know, oh, they're James Crawford hate him or whatever situation may be. Um, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video, right? And um, hold on. Let's get this thing popping. This day, Earl, uh -huh. respect. You know, I never, you know, try to try to, you know, down talk his mm -hmm. his talent, his skills in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Mm -hmm. You know, I grew up, you know, uh, as a boxing, you know, fan. Mm -hmm. So. When Errol was in the Olympics fighting for the USA team, you know, I was rooting more. You know, when he started, you know, his professional career, I was rooting more. You know, uh, just like when I fought Gamboa, I never thought I was going to fight Gamboa. Yeah. You know, Gamboa was on a powerful pound list, and Baby Tyson. And yeah. Once I got that opportunity, I'm, damn, I'm going to fight Gamboa. What's going on? You know, like, so I'm a fan of the sport mm -hmm. first. So you heard him. You know, y'all need to take that advice and be a fan of the sport first. You know, y'all aerosexuals and y'all dudes who root for fighters and, you know, play fanagers and all that, man. Y'all need to be a fan of the sport first. You know? And, you know, that's the issue. Be a fan of the sport first. And that's what he said. He said he's an Earl Spence fan before anything. Probably never thought he'd fight Earl Spence. He said he never fought Yorkers Gamboa. He said he's a fan. He said he was rooting them on when he turned professional, rooting them on in the Olympics. You know, and I'm pretty sure he was rooting them on before they got in the same weight class and probably still rooting them on. Because you should root for somebody that give you an opportunity for generational wealth. You know, give you an opportunity to, uh, you know, you know, do something major and put yourself in the elite category. So, you know, like I said before, there you go. Some positive, you know, all the negativity grab all the headlines, but nobody talking about that part of the interview. When he say, man, I'm rooting for that dude. I want to see that man do good. You know, I was a fan. Now I watch niggas turn, you know, uh, you know, he, you know, he just, you know, I mean, he didn't really mean that. You know? Yeah. You know, he really hating on him. He just saying that just to butter him up or something like that. Come on. But, you know, that, that ain't that ain't nothing that's going to that's gonna move no fucking views or nothing like that. It's not fruitful, and the negativity grow like wildfire, and the positivity, you know, it, it, you know, it grows slow. It grows slow. It wasn't, you know, he a fan of the sport first. And Sean Porter said earlier in that interview, he said that, uh, you know, it was Sean, it was you know Crawford that helped him expand his mind. And he said Crawford showed up to one of the P's, PBC events. And Sean said, what you doing here? He said, man, what you mean? He said, I'm a fan of boxing first. If it's a good fight, I'm there. You know? And he, he showed up to the zone fights. He showed up to PBC fights. He showed up to all the fights. He don't believe in no side of the street. That's why he left top rank to come knock on his door. Which should be applauded. Because he could have he could deal with what the PBC fighters doing. It. And that's how behind Al Heyman. Al Heyman word is biblical over there. And by their contracts, it has to be biblical. It has to be, you know, concrete. It has to be, you know, whatever. You know, but I was in, you know, but it's just they might as talk about this. He said he could, you know, he the reason that Sean Porter traveling and doing all these different fights. Because he was stuck, he was thinking in a box. You know, he was thinking in the box.
you know. But you know, say he was a fan of his. They got to build it to fight. I'm pretty sure Earl Spence got a lot of respect for him too. But they let these these fans get in, the, get in his head because he said because he the one that said they weren't ready. They the ones that's holding up the fight, still holding up to the to the fight to this day. So of course you're gonna get the backlash. It's warranted. Might got time three or four years for you to collect four belts, and we still get here, and the fight still ain't made. Should have been announced right after he beat Uber. To be honest, should be should have been announced. Eric Terrence Crawford sign. It should have been announced. Terrence Crawford sign with PBC before with Uber guys. But uh, you know, PBC don't know how to do no business. I keep telling you that they don't know how to do no business. But like I said before, you know, y'all could be friends, y'all could be cool, but you know, come to bail, people just want to see the animosity. That's it. Now after the fight, it's probably gonna be a lot of respect passed around. Probably gonna be a lot of respect passed around. But like I got here before. You know, when you play in the dozens and you get and you really hurt somebody's feelings and they want to fight and get serious, that's what Bo Mac doing to Errol Spence. Seeing he really ain't improved, you know, like he really ain't improved, you know, and he take it, you know, he he hit a, he hit a, he, he touched a nerve, he touched a nerve. He touched the nerve, so I mean that shit it happens sometimes. But it's Crawford showing Errol Spence love recently, not 10 years ago, five years ago, before they got division before they got rivals. I'm pretty sure Earl feel the same way, but he don't want his fanatic fan base to jump on him for be, for being, you know, being, you know, for showing love. But uh yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button, it's the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications, we go live, drop a video. Financially, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal, link in the description. Uh, other than that, you got the World Toy Box News playlist, hit my link tree up, you can find me everywhere, link tree from YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, cash app, Venmo, PayPal, all my information is there. Appreciate the love support, let me know what you think in the comment section, what time for the one time. Good fellow TV. Peace.